the gravity of the time is such that every new avenue of peace, no matter how dimly discernible, should be explored. Never before in history has so much hope for so many people been gathered together in a single organization. You will provide a great share of the wisdom, of the courage, and the faith which can bring to this world lasting peace for all nations and happiness and well-being for all men. So we are here today with Cyril Molina, who is the founder and president of Oak Ridge SAS. Cyril, welcome to the uh, podcast. Thank you. So uh, before we jump into Oak Ridge and everything that, uh, that you do there, let's talk a little bit about you. Uh, where are you from? Where did you study? And uh, how did you get into nuclear? Oh, um, I'm from France. Uh, so I, I graduated uh, nuclear engineering in the 80s uh, because I wanted to work in nuclear uh, at that time, even if at that time that was not so obvious because there was uh, almost no, no future at that time for yeah. the nuclear sector. It was very... Uh, uh, very still, very uh, that was, for instance, in France, we have just finished to install all the units mm -hmm. and there was no more uh, new build program. But still, uh, as a physicist, I really wanted to enter that sector uh, by passion. Mm -hmm. and after that, I've worked uh, some years at the French Institute for Radiation Protection and Nuclear Safety, which is a TSO to the reg French regulator. As a assessor of uh, safety of the nu fuel, nuclear fuel cycle plants in France, okay. and then I incepted Oak Ridge in 2002. That, so that's more than 20 years yet. Yeah, interesting. interesting. Is that CEA? Is that the um, the nuclear regulator that you were working with? I in France the regulator's name is ASN okay. Autorité de Sûreté Nucléaire, it. and it's TSO, Technical Support mm -hmm. Organization, is IRSN, so okay. I, I began interesting. there. Interesting, interesting. And so, so when you were there, you worked on the fuel cycle, is that correct? Yep. Yep. And is there anything from that experience that you, that led you specifically to creating Oak Ridge, or what was that, what was the impetus uh, that you, for uh, launching your company? Well, there was uh, one impetus is uh, the, the, the company I was in, uh, working for uh, the IRS and, uh, was acquired by a biggest company and the mood uh, was not the same in the big company that is a small company I was in. And so I decided to quit and uh, to found my own company uh, and to work by myself uh, as a self-employed person. But then when I started Oak Ridge, uh, a few months after that, some uh, former clients asked me to do more and so I needed to hire my first uh, employees uh, to face all the work we have to do. Yes. And, and just one year after the inception of Oak Ridge, there was a big announcement uh, of the decision by, the, by, by Finland to, to start a, a new build project uh, with Okiruoto in Finland. So that gave me a, a push uh, in, in the business and we, we've managed uh, Oak Ridge to enter the very first panel uh, uh, involved in the um, engineering of this new build project. And since 2004, we have continuously worked on the new build project, EPR new build project, in, fin in France, in, in Finland, in China, and also in the in UK. Interesting. So just to sum, sum up, what exactly does Oak Ridge do? Where, where do you focus? Oh, yeah. Uh, so we are a 100% nuclear uh, uh, consulting company. Mm -hmm. uh, we do engineering for the installed base and for the new build projects. Uh, we intervene at the different phases of the project like uh, conceptual design, business design, detail design and commissioning. That's for, uh, and then for when the plants uh, operate, 
we help them to improve their maintenance and safety by giving advice, uh, doing uh, international benchmark uh, to, for, for instance, to, for helping them to get the best practices in terms of nuclear safety, for instance. I must add that nuclear safety is our core business and we are very strong at that. Uh, whether it's uh, in deterministic safety or in probabilistic safety, uh, we have uh, good experience and, and good assets, and, uh, and we, we like to provide this uh, to, to our clients. Yeah, and how large is your team now? The team is uh, almost 60 engineers. Wow, yeah. that's very exciting. <laughs> and we, we work uh, in some countries, uh, so in Europe, in, in France mainly, but also with uh, South Korea and South Africa. Okay, very interesting. So, just out of curiosity, because I think uh, oftentimes when we hear about your company, uh, people get very confused because there's also a national lab in the U.S. Oh, with the same name. Is there uh, any connection there? Or is it just a coincidence? No, it's it's it's, it's, it's there's no connection. Yeah. Uh, and all, in fact, uh, Oak Ridge uh, in the U.S. is in two words: Oak oh, Ridge, Tennessee, okay. that's which is a famous or yeah. Oak Ridge National Lab. Yeah. And uh, my my company's name is Oak Ridge in just one word. One, one word and. Uh, the fact is, uh, at the time I uh, founded the company, um, I was looking uh, for a name with my wife, and we had a dictionary and turning the pages, and then I saw Oak Ridge, uh, and the, the definition of the uh, Oak Ridge uh, site, and then said, "Oh, uh, to my wife, oh, this is, this name is excellent. That sounds uh, because that for the ones who know." the history of nuclear, they know that that was one of the secret sites during yes. the Manhattan project. And so that's that's uh, that's a good good sound. So uh, let's stick the two words together, register the name in France, and that's it. Great. And now you've become so so well known that people people <laughs> confuse the two. So yeah. um, <laughs> well I'm glad we glad we clarified that. Um, we now have it on official record. Um, so so you said you guys work on EBR projects. Are there other um, types of designs that you guys really specialize in or do you sort of work across? Yeah, we, we, we have a long experience with uh, the EPR and, and more widely with the PWR reactors. Uh, but of course, we have also skilled people in other technologies such as uh, PWR and also the um, uh, we now currently we are uh, involved in a new project, which is a molten salt reactor. We team with the with the company, and we signed yesterday an MOU with Horizon. Oh, congratulations! A, compa a company from from Netherlands. Yes, and they have a, a concept of which is very clever uh, with a molten salt with uh, some cartridge uh, composing the, the this molten salt reactor, and uh, we will uh, work with them. Uh, of course, in the part of uh, which is uh, our main concern, which is nuclear safety. Got it. Interesting. Well, so we had um, uh, Sonder de Groot from Horizon on yesterday. So if folks haven't oh. listened to that episode yet, they should go over and listen to that one as a, as a part two. Um, but that's really that's really exciting. So just out of curiosity, is the French fleet primarily PWRs? Uh, yeah, the French okay. fleet is PWR. Just PWR. Yeah, okay, yeah. interesting. Interesting. We have we have uh, operating currently is uh, fifty six reactors. Fifty six. Wow, that's that's crazy. That's so many. That's very exciting. Um, and so mo you said, you mentioned that you guys work. You, obviously, you did the project in uh, Finland, in Korea, in, in South Africa. Uh, Are you, is that you work there? Or you have engineers there? Uh, no, we, we work with them. Got Sometimes it. we we also. Um, Send the people in, in the in, in the uh -huh. countries. We, we have people like, for instance, in China for uh -huh. two and a half years during the commissioning of uh, Taishan Fund. Mm -hmm. We had people so in the past in in South Africa near uh, at Kuburg Nuclear Power Plant. Okay. okay. Currently, we work a lot for uh, Kuburg uh, Nuclear Power Plant in, uh, in probability safety and yeah. in, in uh, accident uh, simulation. Interesting. Uh, yeah. One thing I would like to add uh, is uh, you may have noticed that the very first company in France to get the ISO 194943 standard, uh -huh. which is a standard dedicated to nuclear safety, was Oak Ridge in 2020. Interesting. Oh, that's very interesting. So you guys do a lot of work on the big builds. You've, you've got an MOU with an SMR company. Are there other um, SMR, uh, you know, sort of uh, directions that you're you're interested in in working on further? Yeah, sure. Um, we have. Uh, uh, Began also talks with uh, Canadian companies, and uh, also we have uh, signed yesterday MOU with a right. Polish company, okay. 
MCKB. Uh, so we want to join our forces to participate to the numerous projects in Nuka in Poland. Mm -hmm. uh, amongst them, there are big units, but also SMRs yeah. uh, projects. Absolutely. Yeah, I think the Polish program is is so interesting. There's such a desire to build nuclear there, and um, you know, both big and small. And so I think. Uh, they're a great example of a country that's really moving towards um, increasing their their share of nuclear, you know, having just just a research reactor right now, yeah. but obviously a strong regulatory body. And, and, and um, I'm excited to see what happens there. In addition to that, we're, we're excited to see nuclear being featured at COP next week uh, in, in, in the United Arab Emirates. Um, it's, you know, it's so exciting to have uh, the, the conference in a country that has been so successful with their nuclear program. Yep. And, uh, and you know, I think the Baraka the Baraka program is something that we should really all be looking to as a way to successfully develop big big nuclear projects. Yeah, and actually, they did uh, they, they they achieved this uh, uh, after beginning from scratch. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, in two thousand nine, when it, it was decided and signed with the Korean team, uh, there was. Uh, Nothing. Yeah. And now it works. It operates. Yeah. So it it demonstrates that it's possible just uh, to, to 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 implement a big yeah. project with numerous units. Exactly. I mean, in in a non nuclear uh, country. Right. They took a proven design. They built that exact design. Actually, it's one of my favorite podcast episodes is when we had um, His Excellency uh, Mohammed Al Hamadi on, uh, yeah. and he um, walked us through really the process and how they. How they did it, and um, you know, it was so interesting to hear about how they really took the you know the, the Korean design, very proven, and really stuck to it. And that was, I think, a huge part of the efficiency in building that that um, those new new reactors. And um, I, I know they said yesterday that the last one I think is going online in the beginning of next year, and then 25% of the UAE's power will be nuclear. Just such a fascinating jump to go from zero to 25 so quickly. Um, and, you know, so very exciting and very exciting to see nuclear uh, heavily featured at, at the COP uh, events. So it closes out in, you know, the next 10, 20 years, 30 years even. What, what do you hope the, the status of nuclear is globally? And, you know, as we head into such a critical time in climate energy security, you know, how do you hope uh, nuclear is, is used as a tool to help solve those challenges? Uh, I hope that uh, more and more, uh, more and more countries and more and more also um, uh, economic players such as uh, big industries uh, will uh, adopt the nuclear uh, and remove the coal and fossil fuels uh, like uh, uh, gas. Uh, and we have we have good assets to to perform this. We have the young generation which is very invested now. Uh, advocating nuclear and uh, trying to gather more forces uh, around them. So that's a good point. And we have also reorganized the industry here in France to be ready for that big challenge. We, In fact, for instance, we say that we need in the next decade to hire 100,000 people more in, in France. And at the European scale, that represents 500,000 people more uh, in, in nuclear sector. So uh, for the next decades, uh, I, I see that Europe is a big, uh, is, is the place that uh, nuclear will expand more. But other countries, Africa and uh, in, in South America and in Asia will also enter. I yes. mean, newcomers, they will adopt nuclear because now it's the game is more open mm -hmm. thanks to the SMRs. Uh, you can access uh, to a smaller amount of uh, power, and for and and you can find also the the money to to do that project. So that's that's really uh, a game changer. The SMR. Absolutely. Well, Cyril Molina, thank you so much for joining us here on Titans of Nuclear. Thank you so much for Titans of Nuclear, and congrats for what you do. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And initiate at least a new approach to the many difficult problems that must be solved in both private and public conversations. If the world is to take off the inertia imposed by fear and is to make positive progress toward peace.